Again, yeah, prepared to make my cigarettes and right at the front, uh, you're making it that you got two bonnets open. Get out there and making it that they're working or something's happened. You can see uh, as soon as I, uh, before I even started recording, they got set up. Now he closes it. He's walking to the car. He jumps in. Hopefully you can see it. The, hopefully some sun's not in the way. Take a look and see what's going on. Keep watching. How's it going? Yeah, not too bad. What, what happened? Something like my car, bro. Is this your car? Yeah, that's my car. This is my mum's car. I live down the road. Oh, you there. live down the road? And what happened? You were driving and got stopped? Yeah, yeah. Like, my engine was like, kind of shaking. Oh, yeah. Parked here and then, plus out of my car, was going on. Oh, okay. Battery was died. Oh. Yeah. So when you were driving, yeah, yeah. is that how the battery was dead? Yeah, I don't know. Like, I tried turning on the car here. I oh, said so that happened while you were driving. Um, no, I, I, I went to go park my car because my engine, I had to like fill up my cooling. Yeah. And then when I tried turning my car back on, the car was... Okay, so you stopped, you put water in, yeah. and then you couldn't start it up. Yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah. That's crazy. Yeah, no, So what, you live down the street? Yeah, yeah, I just live down there. Okay. Yeah. 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 Alright, man. Okay, maybe they're newer models, maybe you can't do it. Alright man, take care. Alright guys. Alright guys, you can sit out there. You can't make this up. Alright guys. <laughs> Alright, uh... Right when I am, as soon as I am about to start, because they know what I'm doing in the house, right? So I decide to set things up before I even started recording, right? It's out there. They just arrived. They just, because I can hear a door slamming and stuff like that. And they just, they just arrived. So you can see out there what they've set up. He uh, was driving. He decided to park, right? You can't make this shit up. And uh, then he, uh, he couldn't start it up because uh, he parked. I think he, had, he put water in and then um, it wouldn't start because of the battery. Right? You can see the shit they've set up here. And this is called Street Theatre. Alright, all right, so I'm making my cigarettes. And like always, 10 minutes. Alright, so two days before, they didn't use any assignments when leaving the house. Uh, they didn't use the neighbours or any other assignments, but you can see the next time me going out, what they got set up in front of my house. And hope you can hear what he's saying. Uh, he was driving, his engine started shaking. So they decided to park right in front of my house, uh, put water in the radiator, and all of a sudden the car's not turning on, right, because the battery's dead, right. So you can see the theatre they've set up here, letting the target know he's on watch when the target's about to leave, right. So you can see how it's all been timed, and you can hear me saying it's going to take me 10 minutes to make my cigarettes, and you're going to see how he times it to leave, right. He's going to jump in the, the car you see on the right and boot off. But you're going to see how they use them again when I leave, right? So, right, so you can see this here, and he lives down the street, and my street's a dead end. 
Uh, to get where he lives, it'll take him a few more seconds to drive to his house and then stop there, right? But you can see the assignment's being done, uh, parks it right in front of my house, right? Uh, to create the street thinner, right? So you can see that there. But you're gonna see how they use them again when I leave, right? So yeah, keep them watching. You can hear me speaking in real time now. And right now he's about to leave and you can see how long it's taken, right? Keep them watching. All right, so I've got another two cigarettes to make, and you can see this here. Now it's all timed. Like I said, it's gonna take me 10 minutes to make my cigarettes. So he's closed the bonnet, right? And he's jumping in the car. So he's making it that the battery doesn't work, right? So he stops to fill up the radiator, and all of a sudden it's not turning on. And you can see when he's leaving, right? <laughs> you can see the time, right? You can see the time, right? It takes me 10 minutes. And you can see that there. Look at this. He's booting off. He's leaving the car there because he's playing his role, right? Uh, that the battery's not working. And he lives down the street, right? To get to the end of the street, because it's a dead end street, all right? My street's a dead end. Uh, he just needs to drive a few more seconds to get to his house because he says he lives at the end of the street. <laughs> uh, but he decided to stop right in front of my house, right? <laughs> you can see that there, he's gone to the end of the street and he decided to leave the car there, right? So you can see the assignment's been done. And it's been, how long has it been now? 10 minutes, right? Nine, 10 minutes has been already, see? <laughs> you can see how the game's played, right? It's all about the timing, right? And this is called Street Theatre. And lucky I went to go speak to him, right? You can see that there, it was nice. And the timing, right? In 10 minutes, he boots off, he leaves the car there, right? And again, he just needs to drive a few more seconds to get to his house, because he lives at the end of the street. And you can see he's here, right? He stops it in front of my house just to do the assignment, right? <laughs> uh, he goes that his engine was shaking, right? Instead, again, instead of driving a few more seconds to get to his house, he stops right in front of my house. Uh, and then uh, he decided to, then he goes, uh, he had to put water in the engine. And then it's not starting because it's got no power. The battery's not, um, the battery's dead, right? You can see the bullshit stories they make. Oh, and there's a handler walking past. I caught her a few times. <laughs> uh, she waited at the corner for me to finish cutting my grass. Hope you will remember that. I'll put the picture up. All right. <laughs> all right. This is what you go through when you're targeted. All right. All right. I'm done. I'm prepared to go. All right, so I picked up the camera, getting prepared to boot, walk out of the house. I've blurred it out because my mother's going to be in the picture soon. And, yep, yeah, you're going to see how they use that stalker again and how it's timed. Keep watching. All right, so are oh, they going to double it, right? <laughs> and lucky I went out to speak to him, right? And you can see the stupid stories they tell, right? And they give you, they, they in a way, letting you know that it's all just fake, it's all stage, it's all theatre. And again, he just needs to drive a few more seconds because to reach the end of the street, because my street's a dead end, a few more seconds drive. He just needs to drive, right? Alright, keep watching. Alright, so I'm fast forwarding the video and you're going to see how it's timed when I'm about to drive out the driveway. How they're going to use that stalker again. So he jumped in that grey car and you're going to see that grey car again soon. And you're going to see how it's timed. And it shows you how the target's on watch. 
when I'm at home and they send the message to the stalker to drive past with perfect timing, right? And that guy's also a noise campaigner. What not with the um, mufflers or V8 engine, uh, large music. He's got a, a loud uh, music system in his car, loud uh, bass, right? So every time he drives past the house, he's pumping the bass, right? And there's all sorts of uh, noise campaigns when you know I'm at home, right? So that's one of the noise campaigners uh, with a uh, large bass, right? So yeah, keep watching. You see how it's time. I'm about to drive out of the driveway, and it shows you how the targets on watch the whole time. So you keep watching. and show you me driving out of the driveway now. Keep watching. Classic targeting. Love it. Is that the car? Yeah, that's him. That's him. That's him. That's him. Yeah, that's it. The fucking timing. Yeah, that's him. That's him. That's him. Look at that. You can see, as I'm driving out, they use them again to drive past. It's all about the fucking timing. Alright? You can't make this shit up, people. I love my work. <laughs> He's, uh, he's going pretty fast, right? I've got to go way over the speed limit here. Yeah, oh, shit. I'm asking. Wait, watch this. Watch this. What happened? Uh, I'm just leaving my car there for now because my dad's going to come back. Oh, okay. And now he boots off, and you can see how they use the sky twice while I'm in the house filming. And now I can see him the second time when I'm about to drive out of the driveway. Because sometimes they'll use assignments when I'm in the house, and they'll use assignments when I'm driving out of the driveway. And they've used this guy twice in the house, and also when driving out of the driveway, right? So you can see how it's timed, right? All done to let the target know he's on watch. And you can see how the target's on watch the whole time. So they can send the message to this stalker to do his assignment. And you can see how they set up the street theater. Right, uh, the bullshit stories, right, right, uh, yeah, the sides of park right in front of my house, right, but yeah, lucky I went outside to speak to this guy, and you can see the bullshit stories, right, so yeah, keep watching, now I'm going to show you my next location, uh, Kill or Down Shopping Centre, show you the stalkers doing their assignments there, keep watching. Can't believe it, there's got a circus right here. We're always parked, they've actually put the circus there. I've never seen it there before, first time ever. They've actually put the circus there, that's where I always park. Unbelievable. Just a director phone, that one that I can see out there. <laughs> Alright, so I'll go park. 
uh, I'll park over here. You know, where I always park, it's got a frickin' circus there. Can you believe shit? Uh, stalker on the phone here. No, he's not on the phone. I'll park right here. That's where I always park right there. That's where they've got the things parked there, right? All right, so as you can see, the first time ever at Kill All Down Shopping Centre, there's a circus, and that's where I always park. I'll zoom in in soon. Right ahead where that white car is, uh, that's where the trolleys are, and that's where I always park. If you've been watching my work, you know where I always park when I'm at this location. Uh, you can see that white car there, right? And you're going to see how they use that white car when I'm heading back to my car. But you're going to see how it's done and how obvious the stalker makes it, right? So you keep watching, show you me heading back to the car. Keep watching. Uh, keep watching. Is that truck next to mine gonna boot? Because that's where I always park, right? You're watching, like I said. You can't make this fucking shit up. No, you just stop sending stairs. You can sit there. They didn't use a truck, but you can sit out there. You can see how he just, this posture, the way he just stands, right? Like he's on guard, right? You can't fucking make this shit up. I said, are they going to use that white van? They are, but you can see what he did first, all right? I thought he was just going to stay there, but he's jumping in now. Fucking obvious, all right? I'm not going to wait here, but you can see that there. And again, I showed you when I left, before I left the house, you can see that stalker that set up the, the fake, uh, you know, breakdown, car breakdown, right? <laughs> All right, so you can hear me saying, are they going to use that white car before I got to my car? And you can see how that was done, right? And the way he stands staring at the target, right? All done to let the target know he's on watch. And you can see how that was all timed, right? So yeah, this, this is where I'm going to end it, showing you my targeting. I've got no choice to end it here because the video's gone for way too long as it is. I went to another two locations on this day, but again, I've got no choice to end it here because uh, I still have to show you part eight of Boston, and that's what I'm going to show you now. Keep watching.